JLR investigates the search for 32-year-old Joseph Couch continues. Day six of the manhunt. He has still not been found. Laurel County, Kentucky, right outside London, Kentucky. Right here is one of his cousins, Adriana Couch. And she speaks. We got a family member of Joseph Couch speaking and shares something on the record. And I want to share with all of you what his cousin had to say. And then we'll further discuss. Check it out. Tonight, for the first time, we're also hearing from a member of Couch's own family. Tonight, we're talking to his cousin, Adriana Couch. What goes through your mind when you see that name, you know, Joseph Couch opened fire on I-75? Honestly, it, my, my heart sunk. It was embarrassing. Adriana Couch says she first learned of Saturday's mass shooting when she was flooded with messages from friends and family. And he's like, turn on the news, it's everywhere. And I turned it on and it was like a man hunt looking for him. Adriana says her heart immediately broke for the victims, their families, and anyone else affected by her cousin's alleged actions. Police say he opened fire along I-75 in Laurel County, injuring five people. Since then, Adriana says her family's lives have been flipped upside down. We've had multiple police come to grandma's house, mom's house. They've been everywhere looking for this man. Adriana says she's received death threats from strangers online. She says she wants people to understand her family does not condone what her cousin is accused of doing. There's nothing in this world that he could do that, that could have led up to it to excuse the behavior of that, what he did. There's nothing. If her cousin is watching, Adriana says she has a message for him. I would ask you to please turn yourself in because you are very wrong for the actions that you've caused. And it's been a very embarrassment to the family that you've acted like this. And my heart goes out to everybody involved in this. And it honestly, it, it, it hurts. Turn yourself in, Mr. Couch. <sighs> He's done enough damage and ruined his family's reputation, it looks like. Joseph Couch. Wanted in connection with the terrible shooting that happened last Saturday along I-75 in Laurel County, Kentucky, right off of exit 49 next to the 49er truck stop. Where is he? Because he still hasn't been caught and the whole county is basically paralyzed. No school for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. So no school all week. Lots of businesses closed. Churches closed. You got the governor of Kentucky who was in town today speaking. You got law enforcement from dozens and dozens of different agencies, including different fire departments, volunteers out there searching a large reward, $35,000. Choppers in the sky from the U.S. Army to uh, the Kentucky State Police. But as of now, he has not been found. Uh, Daniel Boone National Forest, he could be out there somewhere. They think they have him contained. I'm not so sure. No credible sightings of him since this incident happened last Saturday around 5.30 p.m. Nothing. We don't know what he's wearing. We don't know if he's armed. We don't know if he has food. And we don't know if he's alive. He could be hunkered down in the caves, somewhere along the creek beds, maybe Rock Castle River area. We just don't know. How long is the manhunt going to continue? Well, they vowed to find this guy dead or alive. We're on this case on JLR Investigates, but it's good to hear from family. Hopefully more family connected with this guy speaks. Uh, maybe they should start putting their family's voices in the helicopters and start uh, blaring it out so he could hear if he's alive and maybe that will encourage him to surrender if he's alive he might have got out of the area who knows but no reports of any crime since this happened in that area like stolen vehicles no reports of break-ins that we know of uh some uh community members suspect he could be in a cabin or somewhere in one of those homes deep in the forest one of those uh airbnbs or something that's empty cubby holes sheds outhouses barns where is he we are covering this case extensively. When more information comes out about this man, and if he's caught, you will hear it on JLR Investigates. Turn yourself in, Mr. Couch. We'll talk soon. Stay tuned.